Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are reviewing and swatching the new e.l.f. palette. Uh, this is the Earth and Ocean palette and it is from their Opposite Attract line. Now I actually have never tried a e.l.f. shadow, but the moment I saw this on the Trend Mood website, I knew I had to have it. I am super into greens and blues and this palette just totally screamed my name. So this is what it looks like. This is the packaging right here. Now it comes in a clear case. Um, so I really didn't feel the need to keep that and show you guys. Um, I am wearing this on my eyes today and I have to say I really really like how this look turned out. It's like green gold kind of look and it's just so much fun. Before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. Don't forget to hit that little notification bell. That way you can be notified of videos that I have in the future. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter and I'll have those all linked down below for you as well. So what we're going to start off with first is I'm actually going to go ahead and do live swatches for you guys. Um, after the swatches, then we will go over the palette and all the information about it, and then we'll get into my thoughts. So that was it for all your swatches. I think they swatch beautifully. There are some amazing shades in here and we will get to all of them in just a moment. Um, so this is the packaging of the Earth and Ocean palette right here. Um, I was a little skeptical at first because I did order it online and then picked it up in store that it was gonna be just too cheap feeling, but now that I actually have it in my possession, I am really, really happy with this packaging. I actually love this clear part right here that you can see the shadows. I didn't think I would at first, um, but it doesn't. It actually enhances the packaging quite a bit. I love the fact that it feels really sturdy and it even has a very nice weight to it. Um, it also has a very nice closure, so if you can hear, it clasps closed so you know that it is secure and your palette is shut and I love that about it. Now if this is definitely something that you want to test out um, with these colors but you're not really sure how to go about using them, it does have a diagram on the back with three different eye looks that you can create which I think is amazing especially for someone who wants to try color but maybe just doesn't really know how to put together um, looks with it so this would be a great help and a good step in the right direction um, so I really do appreciate that now um, I'm sure all the information was on that clear package um, 
but I didn't keep it. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you off of the website on Target. Uh, it says it is inspired by grounded earthy vibes and mesmerizing oceans. The Elf Cosmetics Earth and Ocean Palette is an 18 piece palette that will transform your eyes with depth brightness and rich color with a mix of mattes satins and shimmers ranging from warm browns to yellow hues and rich blues so you can create multiple eye looks this luxe formula of this versatile palette is smooth creamy blendable and ultra pigmented for effortless application proud to be 100 vegan and cruelty free worldwide because kindness is chic <laughs> So this retails for $14. Now you can purchase this, of course, on elf.com, um, online at Target, or in-store, whichever one works best for you. So let's get into these shades. As I mentioned earlier, I am wearing this on my eyes today, and I am so in love with this look. Okay, so the, uh, so the shadows that I actually have on my eyes is um, Can't Kelp It, Desert Storm, Sahara, Spruced Up, Sun Yourself in Mojave, Miami. And I am so excited to tell you that this look was so easy to create. I just, I'm extremely happy with it. So I actually have three images to show you guys with the shimmer shade that I use, which kind of goes for the other shimmer shades as well. This first picture right here is on my left side of the eye. Um, and this I applied with a dry brush. And this is with a and this was the results with using it just a dry brush. Um, now on the, my right side of the eye, which is this picture right here, I went in with my finger. So you can tell the difference between what it looks like using a dry brush versus using your finger. Um, and then back to my left side of the eye, after I had already applied it with a dry brush, I did go ahead in and wet my brush and then reapplied it to my eye. And this is what it looked like afterwards. Um, I think that you can apply the the shimmers with either your finger or a wet brush. I think those options work, work best. I actually prefer the wet brush a little bit better than the finger just because I felt like it smoothed it out more. Um, I mean, the finger applied just fine, but I think the wet brush just made it look a little bit more flawless in my opinion. Um, as far as the mattes go, I had no problem blending these mattes. They were so easy to work with. I am 1000% impressed with the mattes in this palette, like blown away. Um, the only small thing I have to say is this color right here, spruced up. Um, it is darker on the eye than I thought it would be looking at it in the pan. So that is a little bit deceptive. I wish it came out as the color that you see in the pan, but it does come out darker. I have that on my lower lash line and you can see just how much darker it is. It's not that kind of like lighter green than I was hoping. But other than that, I love the color. It blended really well. It applied really well. So let's talk about Underwater and Siren. Now these are probably my top two shimmers in this palette. And oh my gosh, I have nothing like them in my collection. Siren is just so freaking stunning. It is just the most gorgeous purple shade I have ever seen. I love it so much. And then um, Underwater, once again, I don't really have anything like it in my collection. It's like this deep, dark underwater color. And it just, it really does remind me of the ocean. It's just so, so gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Now, when it comes to Lagoon and Tundra, uh, which is these two shades right here, so this kind of like crystal blue, which is just a pretty color, so gorgeous, and the Tundra, which is a gorgeous silver shade. So these colors are absolutely stunning. I wouldn't say these, these are not shimmers. I would say these are more like toppers. Can you use them on your lid? Absolutely, but as you can see, um, they don't swatch as thick. Come on, camera. Sorry. But as you can see, they don't swatch as thick as the other shimmers do. So these are definitely more of topper shades, which is not a big deal. Um, but if you wanted to layer them, then you can definitely use them on the lid. So either way, oh, these are just so gorgeous. Look at that. See, they layered. I'm so sorry, I'm out of focus. So they layered quite nicely, and now they have the pigmentation um, as the other shimmers next to them. 
you can definitely still work these and use them as a lid shade. Now as far as when I was swatching them, everything feels so creamy. When I first went in this palette with my finger, I was taken back a little bit because I didn't think that they were going to be as creamy as they felt. And I have to say that e.l.f. is definitely pleasantly surprising me with this palette. The only ones that I felt were a little bit dry was um, Can't, Kel uh, Can't Kelp It, uh, Abyss was a little bit more on the drier side, and o Oasis is as well. They still blend amazingly on the eye. Now, uh, if you guys want to see how I created this eye look today. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know um, if you want to see a different eye look with this palette. Leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, whichever one you prefer. But you guys, for $14, I think e.l.f. has definitely stole my heart with this palette. If you were interested and you like these colors, I really think you should go for it. $14 is a perfect price for this palette and everything in here just performs beyond what I thought it was going to. Now, if e.l.f. comes out with a, another eyeshadow palette just like this with different shades, your girl might be buying it as well. <laughs> I am so, so proud and happy to say I am in love with this eyeshadow palette. All right, guys, so that is it for this review. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up for me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.